Hello everyone, this is Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with another swatch live swatch video. I've already swatched the Julep um, April collection, so I'm on my second set of swatches for the day. And the this one is just going to be some random, some that I had mentioned that I would be swatching in this next my next video. So since I had mentioned that I would definitely do them in the next one, I decided to do two sets of swatches today. Um, <clears throat> So it's going to be Habit, Orly, some Funky Fingers, Deborah Lippman, the Fresh Paints, Piggy Polish, which I've never seen or heard anybody talk about, and then a Julie G. So the Habit Polish is the one that I recently got in my um, Nail Art Society kit for March. This is the formula, and here is the brush. And then there are three Orly polishes. This one is called Harmonious Mess. And this one was on clearance for $4.99 at Ulta. This is the formula. I've not been a huge fan of Orly. Their polishes seem to be runny to me a lot of times. So I don't have a lot. But these two colors specifically appeal to me. I love gray polishes and anything with like a gray undertone. This one's called Mirror Mirror. And here is the formula. And then here is the brush. Nothing special. Their brushes are, you know, the same. And then this next one, someone requested. They wanted to know how well this one. This is called Starburst. Again, by Orly. This is one of their effects. And here is the formula. And here is the brush, which is the same as the previous two. The next one is by Funky Fingers. This one is called Sand and Stilettos. This is a very pretty like holographic polish or a glitter with holographic glitter. Very fine glitter, very thick as you can see. Seems kind of, it seems really thick. And here is the brush. So we'll see how that one's gonna turn out. And then this Deborah Lippman one that I got off of Amazon. Um, it's a fashion size, which is not a mini, but not a full size. This is the formula. Here is the brush. And this one is called Planet Rock. This one is by Fresh Paints. These were also from Five Below along with the Funky Fingers. This one is called Coconut. Here is the formula. And here is the brush. I wanted to try these because when I did this haul, I've had a few people on Instagram talking and asking how the formulas were and everything. So I wanted to make sure to include these because they are fairly inexpensive at five below. There are three for five. So this is a great deal and they have a nice variety of colors there. So I wanted to make sure to include a review about these fairly quickly. This next one is by Piggy Polish. And um, again, like I said, I have not heard anybody talk about these polishes at all. So I wanted to do a review because I picked up a few on, um, Clarence at Ulta for $2.99. And this last one is a Julie G. I have a lot of her, a couple of her textured ones. And this is my first cream one by Julie G. So I wanted to do this one. And this one is in a new collection also that I've only seen at Rite Aid. And um, that is the brush. And this one is called Anthony. Um, it came with a lipstick. I think it was Cleopatra and Anthony. And this one is Adventures, Embrace Adventure, this piggy polish. So that's everything that I'm going to be swatching. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up and then I will get started with the swatching. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my swatching. The first one I'm going to be using is Bell by Habit. I got this one in my March um, Nail Art Society kit. And hopefully it's not too much of a shadow. The brush is a little small, but it does kind of fan out. The formula is not too bad. I feel like I needed, maybe it probably is due to the size of the brush, not seeming like I have enough on there. But I must say it's actually pretty nice and opaque in one, one coat, but the 
going back in to get more polish on the brush does seem kind of frustrating or annoying but I will say this formula is really nice it is opaque in one coat um, and it's a very nice nice shade of like a light denim or almost like a periwinkle type of color so that is habit so the next color that I'm going to try is Harmonious Mess by Orly, and it is kind of a muted lavenderish, lavender color with like gray undertones to it. So I'm just gonna put this one here. And this is kind of like a milky color, but I will say it does go on fairly nicely and pretty opaque in just the one coat although you have to be careful about going over spots multiple times because it will wipe it off but although but otherwise I am pleased it's pretty opaque in one coat I will say as long as you're careful with how many brush strokes you use um, you could totally get away with um, one coat hopefully you can see okay so the next color ooh, that I'm going to be using is also by Orly and this one is called mirror mirror this one is just a gray color I love gray polish every time I see one I feel like I have to get it same formula pretty much as harmonious mess although I will say this one seems a little bit more patchy and streaky than um, harmonious mess does again their formulas to me always seem kind of runny very fluid like so, and that's the same that I'm getting here. And again, you got to be real careful because after so many swipes, it's like you're just wiping off the color and I'm not being particularly neat or going to do any cleanup just because these are just swatches. Um, so, yeah. I mean, although it does seem like it settles nicely and kind of dissipates any streakies or patches there's a slight streak or patch right in here but it's not very visible this next one is starburst by orly it's the orly effects and again i did put all of these in my shaker this one has chunkier pieces of glitter round red and like gold pieces and I will say the glitter is distributing pretty nicely you get a good amount of glitter um, the base is like a milky white base so not much opacity but I will say in just one coat the glitters did apply pretty nicely and you got a great distribution of them this next color is sand and stilettos this is by funky fingers and this one is a thicker one so let's see this one's really thick and so you gotta kind of pat this one into place to get it on there or just very lightly brush over it once you get kind of like I feel like you got to get like a glob of it on there and then kind of just brush through the glob a few times to get it kind of distributed but I will say this looks like one that you could actually wear on its own without a base coat because it is because of the fine glitters so you can actually totally not need a base coat with this one but this is one that you will need to allow to dry quite a bit before applying the second coat and that's just absolutely stunning 
So I'm going to go ahead to Deborah Lipman. This is Planet Rock. And this one just applies really nicely and really evenly. The brush is a nice size, a nice brush, perfect for your pinky nail. Um, it looks like as though the, um, what's your name, it will fan out. Um, you do have to be careful because you can see now I've created some streaks. So those streaks are unfortunately my fault, not due to the, well fortunately my fault, not due to the actual formula. I went over it a little bit too many times. So this next one is by um, fresh paint and this one is called coconut it's a white with a hint of like a yellowish tan undertone or peachy yellow I don't know so we'll see how well this one is going to apply how this one's going to be patchy or streaky most whites are patchy this one seems to be doing pretty nicely. Brush is not too big. So this one actually is pretty nice. A little bit patchy, but again, with my left hand, it's a lot harder to polish my nails and I'm going over it more than I need to. So this piece, here was my fault so um, yeah but a nice color not like stark white so this next one this hopefully I can get a better um, better luck on this one this brush actually seems to be a little bit bigger and these are kind of fluid very fluid um, formulas this one actually applies really nicely and excuse the horrible cleanup because I again took off some other soul watches prior to this so that is that and this one is called passion fruit by fresh paint and then this next one is by piggy piggy polish this one is called, em, 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 oh wow, Embrace Adventure. A more fluid, kind of fluid um, formula, but goes on really nicely, I will say. Kind of has like that almost like jelly, kind of look to it like it's not quite a cream so you have to be careful about going over areas multiple times so actually I really do like the finish and so the last color is this Julie G polish called and Anthony Slightly streaky, but we'll see how the second coat goes. So I'm going to allow these to dry and then come back and do a second coat. Okay, so my nails are dry enough for a second coat. So I'm just going to go back in the same order and do the second coat fairly quickly. Although this one does not need a second coat, I just wanted to show if, see if there would be like a difference in color by adding a second coat.
Sorry about the mess, but I am not trying to be super neat, just trying to get these swatches um, applied. Okay, so here are the two finished coats. So I will um, let these dry and then come back and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm back and I've applied my two coats of each of the polishes that I discussed in the beginning of the video. And um, I must say I'm actually pretty pleased with almost pretty much all the colors that I applied and swatched today. Um, there's one that I'm not really a fan of, but out of 10, one out of 10 is not bad. So let me just go through the order in which I apply them very quickly. Bell by Habit. I absolutely love this one. This one is probably one of my favorites out of all of them. This one is opaque in one coat. Formula is fantastic, absolutely flawless, no issues whatsoever. Unfortunately, this one is $18 if you aren't, you know, $18. So I don't know if you really want to, you know, mm, you know, pay $18 for a polish. But 
I don't know if they have like regular sales or anything for the Habit nail polishes, but um, I did join their new sign up for their newsletter. So maybe they'll have some sales on some of their polishes and I can try to get some more. This next color is by Orly. This is Harmonious Meth. This one is very nice. It is a kind of liquidy formula, but I will say that it applies really, really nicely. I love the finish. It is like, it's almost like a mix between these two colors here, the Habit and the other Orly that I've applied. It's got a hint of purple, but and also gray. So it's like a grayish lavender color so it's lighter than habit bail by habit but um not as dark as the gr true gray here so i actually really really like this and this one had a very same formula this is mirror mirror by orly and this is what i have here on my middle finger um, the formula, again, is kind of runny, but again, it just looks really nice. I don't have on top coat on any of my nail nails at this point, so you can see these three have a nice um, kind of glossy finish. Um, excuse the messy application. I was just trying to get them applied as quickly as possible um, just because I still need to do my nails for the day. Um, so... I'm pleased with these three colors immensely. These are probably my three favorite colors and three favorites as far as color and application. The next one is another Orly polish and this one is called Starburst. And this is one of the Orly Effects polish polishes. And this one, actually, I was also pleased with this one. This is two coats. Again, I did two coats of every polish. Um, I want to say you may not necessarily need two coats of the Orly, but I, th I feel like you get a better opacity, better color impact with two coats. Now this one, um, really nice, it's a milky white base or kind of milky pinky white base, more white, but you get fabulous, you get really good glitter distribution on the first coat. Um, it applies pretty easily and um, so I'm pretty pleased with this. No application issues, it does have a fairly smooth um, finish. You can kind of feel the glitter but not bad at all to the point where you're going to need like tons of top coat to smooth it out. But um, so yeah, pleased with this one as well. Application was just absolutely no issues at all. So again, this is Starburst by Orly. Two coats, easy application, good distribution of glitter. This next one is by Funky Fingers. This one is called Sands, Sand and Stilettos. This one is a um, full coverage glitter. Um, I don't have on any base coat underneath this one. I have two coats. This one I will say is a very, very, very thick formula. So what I would say is uh, to get good application, just um, pull it out, just barely just wipe off the bottom of of your brush and not like the back of it. Just wipe off the bottom and then apply it. Um, that's the only thing is that it is very thick, but it is a very good coverage. And just look how absolutely stunning and sparkly that is. That screams New Year's all the way, all day long. So, and again, that is just two coats and it has a pretty smooth finish. It has really fine like silver, silver and kind of lilac-y purple glitters and it has also holographic glitters inside so this one is if you have a five and below this one I would say is a must-have because you don't find many glitters that are just this stunning that are full coverage without needing like three four coats so this one is an absolute must buy um the next one I have on my ooh pinky here this one's by Deborah Lipman this is I have several shades that are in like that look like this really nice the first coat was slightly streaky but I, that could have been due to my own error um, putting what too many brush strokes kind of wipes it off as with most polishes so you want to be careful but the second coat nicely opaque a good brush size decent perfect for like if your nails are about this size if you have larger nail beds mm, 
it, you might have to do way more strokes than normal but I do like the formula really nice I wouldn't but I can't say that I would pay full price for this just because I mean it applies just as well these other brands that are less expensive apply just as nicely a few even better than this one so I don't think I would be paying I think 20 20 dollars or more I'm not sure how much Deborah Lippmann's are but she's like 18 plus so 18 dollars plus so you know and this next one is coconut this one is by fresh paint also one that i got from five and below really really nice um not as stark white but it has like a kind of peachy yellow undertone to it so the first coat like most whites are a little bit patchy it's not very really bad and again I was painting with my left hand so I really think a lot of the issues that I had for these polishes were just because I'm painting with my non-dominant hand so they seemed a little bit patchy and streaky but this one was not very much at all so I was very pleased with this white. This next one, um, Passion Fruit by also fresh paint this one went on much easier for me it wasn't very streaky or patchy you did um, again two coats are required for this white but i would say two coats for this one as well to be perfectly opaque and i was actually pretty pleased with this piggy polish um this one now this formula was kind of different it was kind of almost like a gel not a gel, like a jelly almost and how it was kind of sheer and then the second coat totally opaqued it up is that even a word opaqued it up hmm. totally made it more opaque this one reminds me of one of the i think it's a sally hansen color that i did not too long ago kind of had the same effect and kind of the, uh, almost the same color um but um very nice i like the brush um, the formula was nice. It went on well. Um, I really like these. So I do have a few others that I purchased. So looking forward to trying those, although it's a different finish. They were like more shimmery metallics. And the last one, this one was the one that I wasn't extremely pleased with. This one is the Julie G. This one is called Anthony. And this one was one that was actually newly released with a lipstick called Cleopatra And. And then this was Anthony. This one was very kind of patchy and streaky for me. Um, it's okay. Um, again, even with the second coat, you can, I can kind of see there are some patches like right in here. You can see it better there. There are some patches like it didn't cover it all the way up like I expected, like the other polishes did. So, um, yeah, I mean, these are fairly inexpensive. I want to say under four bucks at Rite Aid. So, uh, again, I had never tried a cream formula by Julie G. And this could just be this particular one. I don't know. I do have a couple other like chrome metallic finishes by julie g that i need to do um try out so hopefully i will have better luck with that formula but this cream one and i must say for some reason like these peachier whites and peachy tones kind of do i i intend to find that they're kind of patchy and streaky but um yeah so this is my least favorite out of the 10 that i applied um again these three here are probably my favorites and this glitter actually this whole hand is like i really really love so um so yeah what do you think which colors would you pick which would you totally steer clear of um let me know down in the comments let me know i think next swatch video i will do the um rest of the butter london polishes that i hauled with the 21 days of beauty i'm not sure i think i'm gonna try and just stick to doing five at a time because 10 seem to take up quite a bit of time trying to give many reviews on all of them so i think i'm gonna try and stick to doing five swatches per video so i have three more butter london's that i have yet to try and then I'll throw in two other ones along with those. So thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times and have a great day. Bye.